Hey, it's Bill. At the end of this sales tip, make sure you stick around because I've got a present for you. Good morning. Imagine meeting someone for the first time, someone you've been trying desperately to meet, a decision maker, a big kahuna, and you're shaking hands and you say, hello. And then nothing else comes out. You have no idea what to say. You have no idea what to ask for. You don't even know if you should ask for anything. What should your next step be? Well, you think to yourself right now, I'm sure, well, that wouldn't happen to me. Well, let me ask you something. When someone accepts your LinkedIn request for connection, that's like a handshake. That's a hello. Do you know what to say next? Do you know how much is too much? Do you ask for an appointment? Do you make a pitch? When do you make a pitch? What do you have to do? How long do you have to wait? This is what I'm talking about. This is one of these new rules, these new skills, this post-pandemic sales challenge, which really didn't exist as much as it does now. It's very important. It's not enough to have a nice profile picture, although you should. It's not enough to have a nice background, something engaging, although you must. You must have a great profile, profile picture, but you also have to know what to say, when to say it, if to say it, and then what to do after that, that request for connection is accepted. Let me share some information with you. I'll share some advice that I paid for because my social media guru charges me. <laughs> for things that we call Mattyology. Madeline suggested that we be a meaningful contributor. And let me read this to you. Being a meaningful contributor involves posting and messaging valuable content. It requires curating articles and sharing links which are relevant and relative to the interest or interests of the recipients. Now those last two sentences I think are intentionally broad. And what it means is that you need to think before you post. You might want to back up the video and listen to those two sentences again. Curate what you are going to share. Your goal is to have a reputation for valuable information so that when someone sees that you've posted something, they think, oh, everything in the past that this person has posted has been of great value, of great interest to me. Therefore, I'm going to read this as well. That's your goal. Another tactic, this one is free because it's for me, this one is to be anecdotal. Now, winning a job on the basis of a low price is not worthy of a shout from a, from a mountaintop, but if you solve a business problem with just the right solution, that is, tell that story. The point is that before you go, and I think, I think Madeline would agree with me here, before you go and ask for anything, before you go and pitch anything, you've got to build that foundation. You've got to earn that request. That's the only way that your request for an appointment will be accepted. Because if you go too early, delete. I know I will. The front door is locked. People are working from everywhere. In order to make a connection with decision makers, these are the kind of skills that we need to master. So get started and have a great selling week and I'll talk to you next Monday. So that LinkedIn expert I was telling you about, a couple of weeks ago, she put on a workshop for Sales Vault Insiders, and it was about putting your LinkedIn profile together. It was phenomenal. I've done the editing, and I've got it down to about 30 minutes, and I want to make this available to everyone. So go to my homepage, go to salesvault.pro, and you'll see the link to this free workshop. You're welcome.